your PC might already be hacked and you wouldn't even know it. No pop-ups, no hackers typing in green matrix code, just your computer quietly snitching on you like it's working a double shift for the FBI. So here's the deal. In the next six minutes, I'm going to give you everything you need to know to confirm if you're hacked. If you just want the TLDR and leave, fine. Check your network connections, unknown processes, startup programs, browser extensions, and logins. If any of that looks weird, congratulations, someone else owns your PC. For everyone who wants actual depth, let's keep going because your computer might be betraying you in ways you haven't even imagined. And before we get started, if you want to actually learn this stuff properly with real labs and step-by-step -step courses, join our private community. First link in the description. More on that later. The biggest sign of a hacked machine is unexpected network activity. Malware today is quiet, passive-aggressive, and extremely online. It sits there, polite as hell, until it starts sending your entire life story to some random server in Russia, India, or let's be honest, probably Kansas. To catch this, open Task Manager or Resource Monitor and look at what's using your network. If you see a process you don't recognize connecting to an IP address you've never heard of, that's already a red flag. If that process is something like PowerShell, WScript, or a fake svcohost.exe with a zero instead of an O, uninstall your house. The hacker's favorite move today is abusing built-in Windows tools, so nothing looks suspicious. They don't need fancy malware when they can just weaponize PowerShell. If you open PowerShell logs and see base64 encoded commands, that's not Windows doing Windows things. That's malware doing malware things while pretending to be a productivity app. Copy that encoded string into a base64 decoder and read what it's actually doing. If it mentions downloading files from weird domains or running scripts from public.downloads, yeah, your PC is cooked. Next, check your startup programs. If something launches automatically on boot and you don't remember installing it, that's basically malware doing the Fortnite default dance on your system. Open Task Manager, Startup. Everything there should be familiar. If not, disable it before it decides to enable remote webcam access at 3 a.m. Browser extensions are another war crime. Hackers love planting malicious extensions because most people install them like candy. If you see an extension with a random name, no publisher, or something pretending to boost your FPS, remove it. A single browser plugin can read your passwords, capture your cookies, steal your sessions, and watch everything you do online. Yes, even that. You know exactly what I mean. Now, check your accounts. Go to your Google, Microsoft, Discord, Steam, whatever you use, and look for recent logins. If you see sessions from countries you've never visited, or at times when you were asleep, that's either a hacker or your sleepwalking is getting way too impressive. Sign out everywhere and change your password immediately. If you can't sign out because the hacker keeps beating you to it, that's when you calmly throw the entire computer in the nearest ocean and start a new life. Let's talk performance. If your PC is slow for no reason, your fans sound like they're trying to take flight, or your CPU stays at 60% even when you're doing nothing, congratulations, you either installed Chrome or you have malware mining crypto. Open Task Manager, if you see weird processes you don't recognize, Google them. If Google doesn't know what they are, that's even worse. Another fun sign, files moving, disappearing, renaming themselves, or new folders showing up without your permission. Hackers love dropping payloads into app data, temp, or public folders. If you see random .js, .vbs, .ps1, or .exe files you didn't create, don't open them. Another thing most people forget, scheduled tasks. Hackers love persistence. They'll create hidden tasks that run scripts every minute, every startup, or every login. If you open Task Scheduler and see jobs with random names, foreign languages, or update service 123 when you clearly have no idea what it updates, delete them before they delete your bank account. Now the nuclear level check. Run TCP view or any network monitor tool and observe every connection your PC makes. If something is phoning home to a sketchy IP at weird hours, that's your smoking gun. Google the IP, check virus total. If it's flagged by multiple malware engines, stop what you're doing and isolate your machine. Hackers rely on you never checking this. Most people don't. Be the exception. So how do you fix all this? Disconnect from the internet, boot into safe mode, run a full antivirus scan, use Malwarebytes, Defender, or whatever you trust. Check startup programs, scheduled tasks, installed programs, browser extensions, and network connections. If the infection is deep, back up your important files and reinstall Windows. Don't cry, it's okay. Think of it as wiping your sins. 
If you like the way I break this stuff down and you actually want to learn hacking the right way, then check out Cyberflow's Academy, my private community. Inside, you get full step-by-step -step courses on ethical hacking, bug bounty, web hacking, OSINT, Python, C++, and reverse engineering, plus a private Discord where you can ask me anything and learn alongside people already getting insane payouts. You also get all my cyber docs, the cheat sheets, workflows, recon templates, OSINT checklists, exploit notes, and practical challenge-based labs that actually force you to apply the skills plus the $1,000 playbook that shows you how to make your first grand from hacking. And we include all my tools and setups, so your machine is ready from day one. If you want all that, courses, labs, playbooks, everything, it's in the first link in the description. See you inside.